5 Politicians with Most Expensive Houses in Kenya Number 1 Rayla Odinga The 1 billion Kenyan shillings house on the hill, a pristine palatial home to the Azamio presidential flag bearer has been called, albeit unofficially, Rayla's State House. Insiders who have chanced upon the palace speak loftily of its ten bedrooms, four expansive kitchens, two main conference rooms, two small conference rooms collective many offices. In addition, the one billion Kenyan shillings house has an Olympic-sized swimming pool, several jacuzzis and a helipad big enough to have two choppers landing at a go. Number 2, William Ruto. The house has two swimming pools, a jacuzzi, and spacious playground. Currently, the president resides at his home in Karen. Number 3 Evans Kidero. Evans Kidero, the Nairobi governor, is another top politician with the most expensive house, in fact, his home is like paradise. Number 4 Mike Sanko. Former Nairobi Senator Mike Sanko spent a whooping 150 million Kenyan shillings to build this magnificent home in Machakos. The former senator, who is wealthy, also owns a home in Runda. Number 5, Hassan Joho. The 390 million Kenyan shillings mansion is located in Niali next to a beach. It is one of the most beautiful houses in Kenya. Then lastly Uhuru Kenyatta. Standing next to State House is an uber-posh mansion reportedly constructed under strict preferences by the former fourth Kenya president himself. The fortress is said to have cost a cool 700 million Kenyan shillings, which, unlike some former president's homes that were publicly funded, Kenyatta's supposed retirement home is said to be privately funded. It is a state-of-the-art mansion that is protected by formidable barriers and latest technology with a 24-hour GSU security. The house itself contains bulletproof windows, concrete wall, high-tech electric fence and an alarm system. It has two wings, one with a swimming pool and the other has a helipad to receive the president and his visitors. Inside the compound, there is a mini roundabout that leads to the driveway. During the mansion's construction, which commenced in 2015, the road leading to its entrance was also expanded to include a dedicated lane specifically for the mansion. Quoting sources close to the former president, the star further detailed that the house's ground floor contains a living room and dining room, kitchenette and more offices while the upper floor possesses three spacious bedrooms and others. It was also claimed that Uhuru Kenyatta requested the house to have a large lounge to accommodate many guests and delegations. Thanks for watching, like and share this video, also don't forget to subscribe and hit notification bell. Just with one single click, God bless you.